A couple of people have commented on how when I do voiceover for my videos it sounds really good and they wanted to know how I do it. Um, there's actually a couple of different methods that I use depending on how fancy I get or how much I care about the, how much I care about the end product I'm making. Um, the Harley Davidson computer video all I did for that was take a couple of pillows and put them on either side of the laptop and just talk into the onboard microphone of, uh, of the laptop. Meet the new family of Harley Davidson personal computers where the future is yesterday. Another method that I use to record audio is this headset right here. This is a Microsoft Life Chat something something 3000. And it has a microphone and I used this to record the audio on uh, the clutch lever replacement video the, when I did the legal disclaimer. Half Throttle is not a qualified mechanic. His lack of knowledge, Fisher Price quality tools, and baby soft hands prevent him from doing any real work. And it does sound great, but it's YouTube and it's, it's totally passable. As long as it doesn't sound horrible, then you can get away with it. When I want to make something sound good, though, what I do is go to the other room and set up the couch for it. This is as high tech as I get when recording audio. Uh, when I want, when I'm making like a short film and I think it needs like some high quality voiceover, I set up the couch for it. I write what I want to say on a pad of paper. I strap on a headlight because uh, it's dark in there and I need to read. I also will sometimes use this. Um, the, the top of this, this is the top to a soap container and I cut out the middle and then I stole one of my wife's nylons and I speak through it like this because uh, it's supposed to be a pee popper but I have no idea if it works or not. Sometimes I just use it just because I guess. This couch fort setup that I use has actually fooled people into thinking that I record all my stuff in a professional recording studio. I once auditioned for the part of a friend's animated short and there must have been 30 other people there auditioning and in the end when he finally gave me the part he told me that he thought I sounded so much better than everyone else because I had a lot more experience doing professional voiceover work and I was like I don't know what you're talking about I record inside of my couch man I know that it might seem a little ridiculous to think that anytime you hear my voice when I'm speaking, I'm inside of a couch fort with a headlamp talking through one of my wife's socks. But this is, uh, I'm a low budget filmmaker and this is how I make it work. Uh, I use what I've got and if I haven't got it, then I try to invent something that makes you think that I've got it. And um, I think it works pretty good. If you want to check out some examples of voiceover work that I've done, you can check out the Harley Davidson computer video that was done with the internal microphone on my laptop. You can check out the clutch repair tutorial that was done with the headset. And you can check out Death Pad, my friend's animated short that was actually recorded in a professional studio, so it sounds, sounds really good. And if you want to hear what the couch sounds like, you can listen to some of my other videos. You can also check out Mean Machine's channel. Um, I was just involved with, uh, I just did the voiceover for one of his videos. It was a big collaborative effort between a bunch of other moto vloggers, and they all got together and made a video and then they asked me to do the narration so I erected the couch for it I recorded it and I sent it off to him and um, you can check out his video too.